Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Infinite Trade. My name is Robin and let's begin our Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis for tomorrow. So today uh, market was a little confusing and surprising initially in the morning. But uh, you know people uh, who follow the data analysis recently may get themselves confused but i had a clear picture that the market is going to go down in the second half let me just tell you why that was the reason so that you know in next time you can keep this in mind so what happened is fis and pros both had bullish positions okay so and that too fis had call long and pros had uh, call long as well as put short okay and the market was indicating a gap down opening so remember one thing so whenever the market is opening against fis what happens usually is okay first of all uh, you know they'll think that okay there is something wrong in the market which is why the market is opening with a gap down okay and they if they carry naked positions they'll definitely try and hedge it first so that the losses are minimal and then they'll further neutralize their position so they can keep the market sideways for some time and in case if they are sure about some direction maybe up or down they'll do it in the second half so that was the view which i had today but surprisingly what happened was sgx nifty was indicating gap down of from of i think more than 100 points but our nifty opened with a gap up why because they had that kind of positions and they definitely need time and uh, you know that kind of an area to exit their positions so what they did they opened with a gap up they immediately filled the gap then they went up and they started hovering at the top and similarly if you look at nifty nifty also did something similar but nifty was looking a little bearish then bank nifty since the morning time okay so that was one of the reason why i took position in nifty rather than in bank nifty so and somehow i thought you know like uh, they already hedged their position they kept market sideways and i was waiting for a proper price action to take a downside entry but i did not expect such a steep fall to be very frank and since i was a little busy today with one of my friend uh, you know i took the trade while i was out of my house did not have my system just based on the price action i took an entry and you know i took an exit at a uh, fairly good level so i exited somewhere in this place and market fell another uh, 150 points from there but anyways uh, since i was out i just took about one lot and my exact entry was at this particular candle okay so i was sure that uh, they were trying a double top here uh, so usually you're supposed to take an entry once this level breaches but i took an entry here because the sl was quite small i just kept 10 point sl and i took a profit of about 70 points but anyways uh, let's come back to the analysis so market very well respected all the levels that i plotted and now let's see what should be our plan for tomorrow so firstly we usually check the participant wise open interest let's quickly check that out and see what should be the plan uh, i don't know why it's not opening yeah it's done so the first thing is uh, again the positions looks surprising like over uh, you know during the day they change their complete view so that was something which was surprising so the first thing is uh today if i sold in the cash market for about roughly about 1250 crores and di just bought about 98 crores so i think this is why we got a small short covering at the end okay so cash market if i continue to sell just yesterday i think they sold very less quantity you know even they put me into thought that uh, they may sooner or later start buying in the cash market but i don't think so they'll be doing it uh, okay so the first thing here is they 
closed future long okay and that too a very good quantity 9773 and they created shorts so i was already discussing every day basis that though they are covering their shorts but still there is a lot of short left in the system at this point of time they are closing their long and they are creating short that means they definitely have a bearish view in the futures market so this march month expiry i think it's going to expire on the lower side and if we look at call they have net sell roughly about 21245 and they also have put buy okay so these positions are decent uh, but not that great uh, comparatively it's just tuesday and uh, you know tuesday is usually their position sizing is around 35 to 40000 but they're somewhere around close to 20000 so but anyways they are completely bearish so future short call short put buy and similarly if you look at pros they have 154000 call short so i think they had about 74000 call short a uh, call by yesterday and now they have double the quantity of call shorts and they also have put by so they had about 47000 put short yesterday i think now they have completely changed it to put by so both of them are completely bearish so when they will be in trouble is if market is going to open gap down okay uh, and that too a very small gap down or slightly uh, flat opening can confuse people because they have to further get the market down and but the problem is while we know that they have a uh, completely bearish positions so people like us would not try and enter and you know buy from them so that's the whole idea so to confuse us either the market can open flat and go up or maybe it can open a, with a gap up and you know confuse us for some time and then uh, later on we can see that the market either it may come down or maybe it can be in the range so let's decide that based on price action but overall they have bearish positions and that too strongly bearish positions and if we look at the option chain uh, let me see okay there is some cookie problem because market is not active and sometimes we get this kind of an error uh but there is nothing much to discuss in the option chain option chain itself you know clearly indicates that it is bearish so this is our option chain uh, if you look at nifty uh, the pcr value is around 0.62 and in bank nifty it is around 0.77 and all that you can see in the call side is long and winding and short build up and on the put side we can just see short covering so uh pretty much on the bearish side now let's quickly open our charts and have a discussion on the levels that we need to trade tomorrow so this is nifty let's discuss nifty first so if you remember in my yesterday's video i told you clearly that below 16700 nifty will be bearish okay and what happened today is we tried to halt that but nifty broke it decisively and also it has retested that kind that support and now closed somewhere below so now what should be the plan so the plan is going to be quite simple this area becomes our no trade zone okay so why no trade zone so this will be a sideways area and why would that happen let me just tell you so in case if market opens like say within this range between 16700 to 16650 then we'll immediately see a dip in the market and we may take support first and then we may break 16550 further and i think that fall may go up to uh, so there is a level at 16440 so maybe this time it will not even respect 550 and directly halt at 440 and if 440 breaks is when the market will be in trouble we may see a fall until 16300 or 16250 okay so our plan is going to be simple if it is opening here and as soon as it is coming 
below this point. So this point is somewhere close to 16, 640. Okay. If a candle closes below 16, 640, you can take a put trade with a small SL. Your first target is going to be this place and we may see a bounce. So that bounce may make a lower high and break this further. And why I'm telling you to take a put here is, you know, there are chances it may come down here and just give a small bounce and it may further break it. So that is one of the reason I'm asking you to take a put position here. Now, if it is opening flat and if it is breaking this range, we're not going to take any trade. Let it go and let it do whatever it wants. Okay. And in case of gap up, okay, so say if it is gapping up between 16,700 and 16,800, so this is a no trade zone. So just in case if it is gapping up at 16,800, so we will wait for some time. Okay. So this dip we will not trade. So why I'm telling you, because there is a possibility that, you know, they may hover the position here, they will not fill the gap and they'll do some time pass and that will unnecessarily hit our stop losses. And since tomorrow it's Wednesday and already the premiums are quite high, they also have the job to get the premiums to its actual values. So there are a lot of stuff that can happen on a Wednesday. So in case of a gap up opening, we'll wait, let it come down here and if it gives a bounce, and then further, if this particular low breaks, either before 10.30 or maybe after 12.30 is when we'll take a put trade. And our first target is going to be this, 5.50, and the second target is going to be somewhere close to 4.50. So this is my view on Nifty, and uh, Nifty is already indicating a very big gap up, and that itself will create a lot of confusions to FIs and pros, and things would become difficult for them to manage at that time so while they are in confusion we'll stay out of the market that's going to be our plan and let's check out bank nifty so for bank nifty bank nifty is already in a no trade zone so this particular area from 35 400 to 35000 okay this particular area itself is a no trade zone so what are our plan so what are we going to do here is uh First thing, if it is opening within this area, we're not going to do anything. And once it closes below 34.870 is when we are going to initiate a put trade and our direct uh, target would be somewhere close to 34.300. So we can expect a good 500 point fall. And in case if it's opening flat and it's going up, we are not going to do anything. Risky traders can definitely take a put trade here for a short fall. And, you know, if the market gaps up, mostly it may remain sideways uh, tomorrow being in Wednesday. And if tomorrow it remains sideways, then possibly on Thursday, we may see a good rally either down or upside. Okay. And we did not discuss anything about gap down. So any small gap down will definitely wait for a bounce to enter into a put trade. Uh, no call at least for tomorrow looking at their positions and any significant gap down say that it's opening bank nifty is opening around 400 500 points gap down or nifty is opening more than 200 points gap down then there is nothing much to do because they're already in profit they'll be booking some profits and we may have to trade completely based on price action and some view from the option chain so i hope things are clear in case if, of, if there's any significant gap down and if there's any confusion among people, I may tell you what's happening in the market in my Telegram channel. Thank you for watching, people. Let's meet in another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.